All right, what's up? Good day to you. Today, it's your boy Joaquin. Going to be doing a little review. Not so much a review, but more a testimony on the Yamaha Magic Stomp Guitar Effects Processor. Now, if you guys remember, this came out. You guitar players out there, they make one for bass too. But mainly you guitar players out there, I would say... This product came up about 10 years ago. They even started maybe living a little earlier, maybe about 12, 15 years ago. They started with the Yamaha AG Stomp and the DG Stomp. All right. Now, this is my guitar setup here. Okay. I have a Live Wire Solutions uh, ABY box. And I'll tell you what I use that for in a minute. And so basically there's a lot to cover here and I'm just going to spill it out. And uh, so check it out. You, uh, what happens here is you have a uh, volume knob here, right? And this is your master volume. Right here you got your input. Right here you got your input level. Input level is basically, it gives you an option of high input or low input. All right. It's got a stereo out choose to run it mono it has a I believe this is a USB or there may be another term for it that links to your computer I know the other end of this cable is USB um, this may also be called USB it's got a very unique power adapter that comes with the unit all right this one comes with the unit and uh, this particular one actually the one with the angle here I bought on eBay for about 13 15 dollars and actually, I bought two because the first one stuck straight out. And I made a mistake of just throwing it in my gig bag. And then over time, this little thing, the little uh, the AC in jack, the actual uh, inside the input of the unit itself got loose. And uh, as you can tell, I actually have a little piece of tape on there that I put over to reinforce that. Uh, so now this is more of an ideal setup. You know what, let me see if I can just uh, plug it in here. Sure, I'll be able to. I don't think that's much of an issue. All right, let me check it out here. So we're going to plug this bad boy in right here. All right, so now, this is Magic Stomp version, right, version one, but this isn't the version necessarily the version one. Now, I'm not going to go through all the presets. I suggest that you take the time and, um, you know, invest in this unit. But it's got a bunch of amazing presets, okay? Now, really quickly in a nutshell, my setup. I am an electric guitar player and I am a nylon string guitar player. All right, we play, I do a lot of uh, Latin music, Latin jazz, uh, flamenco, but we also do some blues. Uh, got a very, uh, do some 50s, some 60s, some... Um, some 70s, uh, working on some 80s, but uh, uh, so I wanted something that there's many units out there, but the main reason I got this unit was because of this setting right here, okay, and uh, it is the nylon string setting. There are not many acoustic uh, presets in here, okay, not many acoustic presets in here. Now, coincidentally, Yamaha also does have the Yamaha Magic Stomp acoustic module and this is uh, brown or gold it's all gold or brown coincidentally the original unit the original acoustic unit it was a much larger unit that Yamaha came out with called the Yamaha AG stomp which I had and uh, it got stolen but I love that thing man it had more of a you guys can look at it. it had more of a this has touch tones on here but the other one had more of like you were seeing it had a, a little mixer on there low mid high reverb, uh, different mic settings, it was all it was all right there at the touch. Now this one, they made it more of a preset, but more of a, you got to go into your computer and basically, um, you don't necessarily have to go into your computer, you know, you can figure it out, you know, there's a store and there's a couple different things, tricks, you know, tricks, you know, you hit this and you press store and it, it opens it up and it allows you to maneuver um, certain gains and uh, reverb levels and um, certain amount of, I, I would say even goes into a little bit of the mixer too, okay, but 
this by far, there is a lot of a nylon string um, acoustic simulators. Fishman and uh, LR bags. And it just goes down the list. Okay. Um, but let me tell you something. This one right here. Okay. It is, it is spot on. Okay. Uh, it, is, it is spot on because it uses a, it's a simulator. So it uses a particular microphone. Okay. Now, uh, you can also go into here and, and choose the microphone, kind of microphones you want to use. It's like if you were playing in a studio right here. So right here, it gives you the options of the blend, right? You can go all the way left to where you, it'll be just a piezo pickup, right? Um, I play a Cordova guitar with a Fishman pickup, right? So, but, you know, we leave it maxed out all the way, all the way up. I'm all the way up over here, turn the volume level, and this is just kind of a reverb, you know, a little bit of a reverb, large, kind of a hall reverb, it's alright, you know, it works, um, usually just turn that off, okay, hit store, and now it stores it, um, you know, here is just your max out, now I usually, when I do an acoustic gig, a solo gig, I just leave it on, put a little reverb up, and I'm good to go. When I play with my band, you know, I, I turn the reverb off, right, and uh, and I, I play rhythm and some solos, okay, and right here you got, uh, hold it down, you got tuner, right, tuner actually works really well on acoustic and, um, and electric, okay, now, I did a preset here, I did my own store, okay, now, by the way, this is a little, uh, I tilted this unit, all right, and you, you'll find your own way of maneuvering around your unit and how you adjust the foot pedals. Uh, I've had to learn how to place my foot, you know, tap it in certain areas, you know, kind of a, uh, it's usually flat, but I leaned it for this purpose of this video, okay? And uh, so, for example, if we do an electric guitar thing, right, I might switch it right here. I already got a channel. It's a vintage clean kind of a Fender twin reverb kind of sounding or maybe like a fender deluxe something like that i think it's a fender deluxe amp right uh gain your master your tone it's got a very clean clean 50s 1950s buddy holly tone you know really really you know it's got that 50s guitar tone and then uh this is basically uh the overdrive of the amp the driven reverb so it's it's just kind of like the overdriven, very clean sounding, more of a 70s uh, sound, um, you know, classic uh, rock kind of Santana. I would say this is what I use for all the Santana stuff, but it's got a very, very bluesy, very bluesy sound to it. So um, that's what I use. I use basically a clean and overdrive. It's got a little bit of reverb on it. You know, and I run it straight to the mixer, okay, and then on my nylon. So I run it straight over here to my A B A B pedal, okay, and I go and I go straight from out of here, straight into the input, okay, and channel A is for acoustic, okay, channel B is for my electric guitar. So this is my particular setup. I put the power amp there. I got some cables here that I use for my own purpose. This is my little rig. This is one of those little pedal train things. But this magic stomp, man, you can get them on eBay for 100 bucks, 150 bucks. Okay. Um, if you're a serious acoustic player, I would suggest that you get the acoustic model. But if you are a nylon player, both of the exact same settings are offered on this one. And they are offered on the AG uh, uh, Magic Stomp Acoustic version. This is your boy Joaquin. And you know what, man? This has been around for a minute. Uh, my boy Diego turned me on to this. And uh, this is what we use, man. It sounds very pro. It sounds like a, like a recording. Okay? Because that piezo sound, I mean, the piezo sound doesn't sound like the natural guitar sound. We all know that. All right, brother. I'm, I got to cut this under 10 minutes. But, you know, we'll catch you, uh, catch you on the flip side. Thank you, brother.